Thank you, Alejandro. Another player that bounced back after a difficult defeat against Christopher Yu is Brandon Jacobson. Brandon, welcome to the show. A big victory for you. How does that feel? Yeah, I mean, I'm happy with the result, but certainly not happy with my play in any of the games. I mean, starting with my game against Christopher, like, I, I overthought my, my instincts. Like, I played this ridiculous move, C takes B6, when, of course, in, in a blitz game, I would go knight takes B6 and knight C4 and, and probably hold. Um, and even against Mishra yesterday, like... How did you deal with that loss? That must have been very disappointing for you to start like that. For sure. Um, I think I just tried to shake it off and find my form. Um, I did just come from two tournaments back to back, mm -hmm. so maybe I felt like it was, you know, first round nerves, whatever it is. Um, and I tried to forget about it and try to focus on the next game. But then yesterday, too, I mean, I missed this Bishop takes H6 move and would have basically been close to winning. Yep. Again, I didn't trust my instincts. and. I'm realizing the problem is probably just maybe lack of confidence, maybe nerves. I don't know what what it is, but um, even today's game, like it worked out then. But there are definitely moments where I could have played more precisely. Um, definitely back and forth, but it did seem like you got the best out of her out of the opening. Did you expect uh, her to play this way? Uh, yeah. So before the game, I just looked at some lines. Um, this knight b2 rook d1 is not the most precise move. I think already black is supposed to be quite comfortable after knight g4 and king h8. Um, and yeah, I went for this exchange sack, but... Um, Perhaps we can have that on the board yeah. right now. Yeah, so knight b2 is, is inaccurate. White should go h3 here, um, just to avoid all this knight g4, king h8. Um, and then, you know, the game goes on, h6, rookie h, a normal Italian. Um, but yeah, knight bd2, knight g4. Did you feel like uh, she missed that? Like, what was the... Yeah, I mean, I think she played knight b2 quickly. I, I think she was probably confusing the lines. Um, but... Yeah, I assume she wasn't familiar with this knight g4, king h idea, because she played knight b2 maybe like 30 seconds, and she was probably confusing the move orders. She forgot about and then, h3, yeah. Right, and then... Because there are some lines where you do want to avoid h3, like if black hasn't castled yet, then you and want to avoid h3 ideas, because then yeah. h6 and g5 is coming. So, yeah, and then she thought for a long time after f5. Um, and I have a lot of options after knight f1. Like, a lot of things look tempting, like even just knight back to f6. Mm -hmm. um, but I figured after bishop e3, like, probably black is better. I can go bishop takes e3 and f takes e4 and, like, knight h5, for example. And this was uh, actually played um, at the top level. Really? And most of the top level players played knight f6. But the best way to continue is taking and taking. Really? Right okay, that's that's. <laughs> so you found the best way over the board. Yeah, in the game I wasn't so sure. Um, but yeah, the problem for what is you're not exactly getting mated right away, but it's just sort of long term. Like she takes f3, knight h6. Um, knight h6. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, if knight f6, I thought knight g3, and then my knight can't go to h5, and I wasn't really sure how to proceed. I mean, that's probably good too. Perhaps taking um, on h3. Yeah, maybe this is good too, bishop b3 or something. Um, Things get to be double-edged. Right, but the point was that after knight h6, like, let's say like bishop b3, I don't, I don't know what the best move is, but at some point I'm just gonna go knight e7 and knight g6 and bring the knight to f4, and it's not, it's really uncomfortable for white. Like, you can go like rook e3, knight g3, bishop f1, try to hold on, but long-term, like, you have no open files for your rooks, like, even if you can consolidate somehow, like, black's always gonna have knight f7, knight g5 ideas at the right moment too. Great um, control over uh, dark squares. Right. So I figured this had to had to be better for black. Um, yeah, she took on g4, rook f8. Yeah, I had this interesting idea of rook f4 also after h6, g4. Probably unnecessary, but um, I thought it was kind of interesting. But I thought, like, minimum white can take on f4 and go, like, rook d2. Does she have e5? Um, then I can take on g4, I guess. Take on g4, yeah. If knight h2, then maybe knight e5, and I don't know. But okay, sure, that's probably good too. But I thought minimum like rook d2, let's say, instead of knight h2. Knight e5. And bishop e2. Bishop e2, and if queen h4, then something like rook d4, and just sack back and block my bishop at some point. Um, so, like bishop e2, let's say, and then. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, I can't go bishop e2 here. Um, okay, I guess getting my lines keys, but basically at some point you can maybe get Maybe knight h2 now, right? Yeah, yeah, maybe knight h2. But you're still losing that g4 pawn. Um, I don't know. Yeah, there was some line where I, where I thought just like rook d4 and sacking it back. Perhaps that was okay. Yeah, that was the at moment. At some point, just um, rook d4. But yeah, rook f8 seems simple enough. Knight e3, queen h4, 
F3. How did you assess the position? Actually? Yeah, I, mean, I thought black was close to winning here, and then I played this ridiculous move, queen g5. I mean, I totally missed rook f2, which was a really nice move. Like, and knight d5 is right. I mean, queen f6, I'm basically like up a full tempo on the game. Mm -hmm. If I go queen f6 immediately, um, I don't really see how she's stopping like c6 and d5, and this looks almost lost for white. And we saw you on camera at this point, and you looked a bit, hmm. bit down, a bit disappointed when you saw this move, rook to f2. Was that yeah, the way I, you felt? I mean, this is like maybe the fifth time this tournament my opponent plays a move I didn't even consider it was legal. Um, and it just felt like everything was going wrong. And I, I, like, I figured, okay, black, is, of course, should still be better. But like, I gave her this g3, king g2, and all of a sudden, it's kind of a mess. It's um, a fight. You didn't want to see this. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, I'm not even sure if d5 was best. I mean, I can also play slow, which is going c6 first. Um, I mean, I suppose the position I got in the game objectively was good for me the whole time, but like, it definitely got a bit messy at some point. Um, yeah, c6, king, g2, d5, maybe just play like this, a bit slower. Right. Um, let's say like... I think d5 was the right decision. It was the right decision. Okay. It was the right decision, and not the right decision for her was actually to take on d5. After that, it seems to you're close to winning. King yeah, g2 was supposed to be Yeah, it's one of those times where like, when you start missing a lot of moves, you start to second guess everything that yeah. you're seeing, so I really... Like, the, the one good thing I did this game was I was able to recognize that I should just close my eyes and trust my instincts and stop overthinking my moves. And then, like, starting around after d5, take bishop takes, I started to play fast and just sort of trust myself. And I think from there it went pretty smooth. Um, I didn't really see any chances for her after that. Brandon, congratulations. Uh, big victory for you. Who do you have tomorrow? Um, David Brodsky. With the white pieces? Uh, I'm in double black. So. Double black, that's a difficult game. Yeah. Well, congratulations, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Well done, Brandon, indeed. I find I think he played very well, especially the move.